So we're kickstarting our France trip off. This is our first full day here and um, we are basically walking along Normandy beaches. So our campsite is right next to Juno Beach. Um, this is Carl's forte here. He's really good with all the history. It interests me, but I forget the facts so quickly. Um, but we've just come across, I was just, we were just talking about it and saying, we've been walking for about... 30 you know, minutes, a half hour I think. Yeah. And we haven't actually come across any monuments or like any sight of the history. And you'd think there'd be quite a lot, but so far we haven't come across anything. And then just as we said that, we came across our first bunker so I was saying yesterday when we got here I was like it's mad to think that what 100 years ago? Trade. No, we're in 2023. What? I don't, where are you going with this? First World War. Oh, First World War? Alright, okay, well this is Second World War. Okay, I'll just cut that bit out. It's like 20 <laughs> years ago. Then. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> See what I mean about, I'm just gonna have to leave this bit in, aren't I? See what I mean about not very good with the facts? So, um, 80 years ago, that, you said it was Canadians, didn't you, on Juno Beach? Juno's Canadians and we're going to Sword. We're invading this beach. Uh, yeah, and we're walking all the way along to Sword, but it's about 11 kilometers, so let's hope we're about that. About a third of the way there, though. Oh, are we? Yeah, okay. But um, yeah, it's a really nice beach. It's a sandy beach, but yeah. It's just bizarre to like look at it and think about all the boats coming in, isn't it? Thousands. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were saying that when we were walking through the villages, we were like, oh my god, imagine what it would have been like all those years ago. Terrible. Yeah. So we're going to take you along with us and show you the sights that we see. But yeah, we've started at Juno Beach and we're heading to Sword. So, um, interesting fact as well that I know. Go on. It might not be very interesting for other I'm people. Intrigued. So when I was an instructor down at Southwark Park, oh, yeah, when I was yeah, in okay. the RAF, all of the barrack blocks that you stayed in were all named after the beaches and monuments here. So um, there was a Juno block, a sword block, I was in sword um, at one point. There was Pegasus block, I was oh, in that's Pegasus. The bridge. That's not too far bridge. away from here. And there was gold block, so, Omaha. Newtown. Newtown, yeah. Um, because, if you didn't know, Southwark Park, which is down near Portsmouth, is um, Southwark House, which is now used as the officer's mess, is where the D-Day, Winston Churchill planned all the D-Day landings from. And there's a big map on the wall. You can go and see it, you can go and visit it. It's a museum, not in the military. It? Yeah, you can go and book to go on there and have a look in Southwark House. It's really interesting. When I graduated as RAF Police, like, all the families that came for your passing out parade got to go and have a look at it. And, yeah. Yeah, really interesting. My mum and dad saw it. My brothers. I've seen photos of it, but I've never actually yeah. seen it. Yeah. You should go one day. Yeah. You'd really find it interesting. But yeah, so that's an interesting fact I do know. <laughs> So we've come across this memorial bit and um, we've been reading the plaques that it um, has here and we've now hit Sword at the start of Sword Beach so it looks like we're going to start seeing more doesn't it? I think so yeah, judging by what it says Because it says, what yeah. is it you just read? Strong point was to the east German of the town. Defenses, the strong point of German defences on the cliff in the east of the town. So yeah, we should start seeing more of it now. So we're an hour and 40 into our walk along the seafront now and we're coming up to our next monument which is a massive tank <laughs> on this roundabout but 
the town that Carl has in his sights that we're walking to today is still it's five and a half k, I reckon. another five and a half k so six months pregnant that's um and then having to walk back is you maybe know, a you know tank, bit of uh, an ask because my feet are feeling a little bit sore already um so top tip if you can hire bikes there's loads of been people whizzing past us on bikes but because we've got arnie and he's never been by the side of a bike before we were and he's quite an excitable dog we weren't sure how well that would go so we haven't but definitely hire bikes here is the tank just as you're coming into this little village Our debate is do we carry on walking and see if we can get a bus or a taxi back or do we turn around now and drive to where we want to get to well from here but i'm thinking because it's bank holiday monday the buses aren't running today because look <laughs> Yeah. There's a line of buses just parked there. Still 6k to where we need to get to, plus 6k back to here, then another 6k back. Turn around and drive up. Yeah, because it's still going to take us a couple of hours to get back now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, take us out. Yes. This is true. You're puffing as well, aren't you, Arnie? <laughs> so we have made the executive decision we've turned around and we've, that's the village behind us that we were just at by the roundabout and we've started to walk back um, this will join back onto the beach shortly but yeah in that decision though my watch is talking to me we can drive down there and then we can go drive to Pegasus Bridge as well which yeah we wouldn't be able to do it yeah I said the advantage of walking back now it'll still only be about two o'clock in the afternoon by the time we get back to the campsite um we'll go what's the place called the, I, I can't really pronounce it can't, o -U begins with an O O U I S T I H A N. Oysterum yeah um, so we're gonna yeah drive there and then Pegasus Bridge is a little bit further on that we weren't even planning to walk there today so because we're going back to get the van we'll go to Pegasus Bridge today too so yeah and then we're gonna go where are we gonna go tomorrow we're gonna go well because we're going down to Mont Saint Michel we're gonna drive on to Utah and Omaha Beach and go to the cemeteries there on our way to that campsite so yeah we're pretty pleased with our new plan we've had a bit of exercise Arnie's had some exercise but just don't want to screw myself over on day one walking too far and having sore knees and feet for the rest of the week so yeah heading back now and we did a bit of a recce last night we came down to the beach and had a look and see what was about and oh were they <laughs> um yeah we haven't seen many brit camper vans since we've been here one just passed us yeah um but uh what was i saying oh yeah we found a really nice looking crepe place i mean there's a lot of crepe places around here we're in france so of course there is but 
I said to Carl, I've definitely earned myself a crep. And then go and see some more sights. See, bikes. Bikes are the way forward. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it back to the van my feet are so sore but um we've recuperated we got some food we got a baguette from that bakery and um or boulangerie should i say and um had it like half an hour to just chill at the van and now we have come out to the place that we can't pronounce beginning with an o I'll get I'll get capture a sign of it or something so you can see or I'll pop it on screen. Um Carl's just getting a parking ticket and then we're just gonna go for a short wander <laughs> across the seafront here and then we're gonna go across to Pegasus Bridge and check that out as well. So yeah. It's only like quarter past two or something, so we've still got plenty of the day um to explore what it has to offer here. Um, but there's, it already looks like there's quite a bit more going on. So hopefully there's some nice monuments and pieces of history I'm here. My first parking machine in French. Oh, yeah, sorry. it's all right. Congratulations. How do you feel? Took me two attempts. Uh, two? That's not bad. Yeah. How long have we got? Till ten past four. Oh, okay, I thought you were going to be like twenty fourth of May, twenty twenty four. But um, yeah, we're going to get out and there's a big ferris wheel, I don't know, no, it's too bright, you, uh, can you make it out? Yeah, you can, just there, um, big ferris wheel, so, is that the ferris wheel? Uh, yeah, it is, <laughs> I can't even see it. Don't but, the um, right. <laughs> no, no, I was just saying we're going to see what bits of history we can find. Oh, there's a monument behind us. Oh, is there? Mm. We've already sussed it out. Okay. Short walk this time though. Short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon it'll only be about 4k. <laughs> I don't think my feet have got it's 4k not. in them. To, we're this very afternoon. central. We're very central. Okay, so. good. Museum's over that way. Yeah. And then we'll also we'll walk on the seafront, see what yeah. we can see. Okay. On air the douche. <laughs> Your favourite phrase. I learnt that means shower cap. <laughs> used it in the film as well? Yeah. Used in Saving Private Ryan. And it was actually used, it's the real thing as well. Oh. Oh, you can't even imagine it, can you? So we've done Sword Beach and now we've come to the Pegasus Bridge. Do you want to tell us what these three points are along here, Carl, that we've just been to? So this one, this one, and then there's one down there that we've just been to. Yeah. This for the third, and then the one beyond is the second. So these are the and 28 soldiers landed in each spot, didn't they? Uh, yeah, so about 30 in total. So Carl was saying that so there would have been Germans at what either side of the bridge. So the first one landed here. That's pretty scary, isn't it? Look how close they were. How did they not shoot them before they landed? Because they weren't expecting them. So oh, and on the plaques it says there was really poor weather. Yeah. So maybe they couldn't see them very well. Mm. There weren't that many Germans, there were like a handful. 
Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, interesting. He's worn out as well as me. <laughs> it turns out that the bridge that we've just been looking at is not the original Pegasus Bridge. This is the original Pegasus Bridge. It was replaced in 1994 by that bridge that we just looked at. And this is like the memorial site. You can go through, but I don't think they allow dogs through the building and through here. But that's the bridge. It looks quite similar. But yeah. So it was in that position. It's just been moved. From yeah, there. yeah. It's just been replaced because it was obviously getting a bit old to be used as an actual bridge. But yeah. And then I was saying like a glider to me is like a one man, <laughs> a one man like aircraft, but apparently this is the glider that, um, these were the gliders that landed. So that makes more sense how they fit 28 soldiers on. Hmm. <laughs> day two of our trip and we've actually left our first campsite we left it at 10 o'clock this morning so we are on our way to our second stop of the week but on our way we've stopped off at gold beach that's yeah. right isn't it long, long um, summer i think it's called long summer yeah I think. um and i can already see some bunkers in front of me Can't stand up. No, that's oh, I can. People are a bit short about that. <laughs> oh, they are more my height because I can stand up perfectly in here. What's down here? You first. <laughs> There's people in there. Oh, I don't like it. I don't know if the Germans are now. <laughs> Is it? I can't see where I'm putting my feet. Lower. Can't see much from here. No. So we've just pulled up at an American cemetery um, near Omaha Beach, but as you can imagine and understandably they don't allow dogs in there 
Um, so we're taking it in turns to go in. Carl has gone in first. My job has been to prep prep lunch <laughs> for when he comes back, which I've done. So yeah, that's the only thing. Um, I can imagine that it's immaculate in there so I can completely understand that they don't allow dogs in there. But um, yeah, it just means that we'll just take it in turns and have lunch in between. <laughs> And we just appreciate the organization so we've just finished up at the american cemetery yeah. and we're now on to our second campsite of the week aren't we yeah first one done and one, yeah. can we just note the sticky labels with the dates getting the postcode of our next campsite are we i don't think they do postcodes over here they have like num like five digit numbers after oh uh, right well it'll be like an yeah an area code but yeah we're good organized down to the T, aren't you? Most of the time. <laughs> and what's the name of the campsite we're heading off to? It's called Halli Halliotis. Halliotis. In near Pont Orson. Near Mont Saint Michel. Yeah. Yep. Let's go driver. Let's do it. It's only an hour and forty. <laughs> nice. That's where the tank keeps going up every time I tell you. It is. It was an hour and a half. It was an hour and a half from our hour. campsite and we've driven probably about 40 minutes between like the campsite and where we are now on our stops. And now it's an hour and 40. It's just gone up and up and up. <laughs> At least we're not walking today, no. eh? No. 